What moves to make on the Rubik's Cube is described by cube notation. The most common letters you'll see are these ones, and they stand for right, left, up, down, front, back. Each letter means to turn that side clockwise if you were facing it. So R would mean face the right side and turn it clockwise like this. L would mean face the left side and turn it clockwise like this. And what's interesting is they actually go in different directions. So you have to be careful not to think that R and L go in the same direction. Instead, think that they each mean a clockwise turn. U goes this way, D goes this way, F goes this way, and B goes this way. The apostrophe means prime, and it means to turn in the opposite direction. So R prime would not go this way because that's R. R prime goes the other way. Two means to turn that side twice or a 180 degree turn. So R2 would look like this or R2 could look like this. Whichever direction you go in, it's the same thing. Next, we have the slice layers, this being the M layer, this being the E layer, and this being the S layer. For these ones, you can't just face it and turn clockwise, so instead the logic is you follow the same direction as the one nearest to it in the alphabet. For example, the M layer is between L and R. It is closer in the alphabet to the letter L, so it follows the same directions as L. So L goes this way, so M will also go this way. If you see a lowercase letter read as small r, or a capital letter followed by w read as r wide, this means to do two layers at once, so that would look like this. x, y, and z are cube rotations. You can think of x as rotating the whole cube in the same direction as r. So if you see x, r goes this way, so x would go this way. That means you face the bottom. x prime would work like r prime, but the whole cube at once, so like that. And x2 would go like this. y goes in the same direction as u, so u goes this way, so y goes this way. z goes in the same direction as f, so since f goes this way, then z goes this way. On larger cubes like 4x4 and up, for the most part we stop using lowercase letters, but r wide still means turn two layers for r. If you put three in the beginning, it means turn three layers instead. This is 4 r wide, 5 r wide, and so on. And you can still put things at the end, so this would be 5 r wide prime. Or for example, this one would be 4 r wide 2. So the first number tells you how many layers to move, the second number tells you how much to move it. If there's a number before the notation, it tells you which layer to move, but if there's no wide at the end, that means you just move that layer only. So 3R means just turn the third layer from the right like this. And lastly, there is 4x4 specific notation. If you see lowercase letters, they no longer mean wide moves. What they mean instead is slice moves, being like this. So R is just this layer, L would be this layer, and so on. If you'd like to learn some of these algorithms to get faster, then the tutorial playlist is on the end screen. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.